Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations and we'll solve each system by elimination. So, if I was given this system, negative 9 plus 5y equals a negative 4x, and the second one is a negative 11x equals a negative 20 plus 9y. Well, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to get all my numbers to one side and all my variables to the other. So let's do that by, um, let's go, I'm going to numerator, let's go bring all the variables to the left number, the straight numbers to the right. So the numerator becomes, I'm going to add a 4x both sides, so we have a positive 4x plus 5y, and that's going to be equal to, if I add a 9 to the other side, a positive 9. The second equation do the same thing, um, I'm going to subtract a 9y to both sides, so we have a negative 11x uh, minus 9y, and that's going to be equal to a negative 20. So what I want to do here is I'm going to have to multiply both equations by a value to eliminate one of the variables, okay? And so we can kind of quickly do that, um, depends on which one you want to do, um, it really doesn't matter if we want to eliminate the x or the y, and so let's go with the... Uh, uh, let's go eliminate the y. So I'm going to multiply the top equation all by the coefficient in front of right here. Uh, this y is a 9, so multiply the top one by 9, and the bottom one by 5. And what that does will help eliminate this variable. Okay, so we multiply across. All right, you can see here, 9 times a 4x is a 36x. And then 9 times 5y is a... Um, so the 45y here plus 45y. And 9 times 9 is 81. So do the same thing with the 5, multiply the 5 across. 5 times negative 11 is a negative 55x. And 9 times a negative, 5 times a negative 9y is a negative 45y. 5 times negative 20 is a negative 100. So now I'm going to add these two equations together. Okay. Hopefully. We should eliminate the y variable. Okay, so adding the x's together, uh, 36 minus 55. Oh, I don't know if that's going to multiply. That's so minus 55 comes out to be a negative 19. We have negative 19x. The y's will cancel. 45y and negative 45y will be a zero. And 81 and a negative 100 uh, come out to be a oh, is that 19 again? Yes, that's a positive, a negative 19. Okay. To get x by itself, I'm going to divide by a negative 19 of both sides. I don't really care for the 0. I'm sort of left x here by itself equals negative 19 divided by negative 19. It's a positive 1. So we have a positive 1 right there, and that is our x value. But we need to find our y value. So what we're going to do is take one of the equations and plug x to be 1 and solve for y. So let's go with our second equation here. Negative 11x equals a negative 20 plus 9y, and let's go plug in 1 for x. Well, 1 goes in for x right there. We have negative 11 times 1 equals negative 20 plus 9y. Negative 11 times 1 is just a negative 11 equals negative 20 plus 9y. I'm going to add a 20 to both sides. That leaves me with a uh, positive 9 equals 9y. I'm going to divide by 9 to both sides. And y is just equal to, well, 9 divided by 9 is just 1. So we have x to be 1, y to be 1. Our final answer as a coordinate point is just 1, comma, 1. And there we have it. So let's recap. We're given our two equations, negative 9 plus 5y equals negative 4x, and negative 11x equals negative 20 plus 9y. I rewrote this to have all the variables come first, x and y equals 9 by using our algebraic rules. And then multiply the numerator, or the top equation by 9, bottom equation by 5, not the numerator, that'd be incorrect. And what that would do is help me eliminate the y variable. I added the two equations together, eliminating the y, giving me negative 19x equals negative 19. Divided by negative 19 on both sides, x is by itself and it's equal to 1. Plug that into my second equation to solve for y. When I simplify, I got y to be 1 as well. So our final answer, and it's a coordinate point for our system of equations, solving by elimination, is 